love of woodworking, I'm really not sure where it came from. I remember my grandfather had a piece of furniture in his house that he said his brother had made. I thought that was pretty cool, but what did I know? I was only six years old. And then he had these little other uh, turnings that his brother had also made, and it was kind of neat that my grandfather had that stuff that his brother had made. Uh, but again, I was just a kid. But then I went to junior high, took wood shop in seventh, no, actually all three years, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. Liked it, but then I went on to academics, and something in the back of my mind was always I just had to make something, and wood was a wonderful material. But where it, where it came from, I don't know. It certainly developed after I started working with it. The first two influences that actually come to mind, uh, the first one was Tay Frid. He was a professor at, you know, at uh, RISD, Rhode Island School of Design, and in the early days of Fine Woodworking Magazine, which was uh, middle 70s, I think 75 he came out. He was uh, a, an author, a prolific author, but he had also written three books of how to and here's how you do it. Tay, Tay Frid was a um, a Danish trained apprentice and came here and was just a master woodworker and I was very much impressed with the work that he was doing at RISD. I came across another woodworker by the name of James Krenoff. Uh, Krenoff was an American, although he spent much of his time in Sweden. Until the mid-70s, he came back and opened up, um, I think it's called the Redwood School of Design, or the Redwood School of Woodworking. I'm blanking out the woodworkers. Any woodworkers out there, forgive me. But anyways, uh, what I liked most about Krenoff was his book, A Cabinet Maker's Notebook. And it talked about the creative process, it talked about the subtleties of what goes into a piece of wood, how one, how the grain, the matching grain has to be in, uh, in every piece of wood. If you're putting uh, some drawers together, the drawers ideally should all match. You don't want to have mismatching grain, say, for the rails of a piece or the styles of a piece and matching a, a given panel on the inside. So probably those two, Tay Frid and James Krenoff, were the two because they were intellectual about their woodworking. As far as other woodworkers that I've seen, too numerous to mention because there's some phenomenal, phenomenal woodworkers out there today. Probably better woodworking today than any time in the past 200 years. I pretty much got started in seventh grade shop class with Mr. Brady. Uh, just the fact of working with my hands, it was great. Uh, I remember a couple of projects that I made. It was a waste basket out of masonite put together with aluminum channel and rivets. That was pretty cool. Um, I made a lamp out of mahogany. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, did my first turnings on a lathe. That was great. But that pretty much went away until I set my goals uh, in my late 20s. And um, when I had quit the job, um, with the wonderful idea of being an artist, 
I had no money. Well, I mean, I had the money, but I had no tools either. So what was the easiest thing that I could do? Well, stained glass, because it really doesn't cost you anything. You got some clear glass you can pick up for cheap, and you've got some copper foil and some solder, and, and away I went. And for the next two years or so, I was making uh, stained glass. I was making something for Beth uh, probably six months ago. I don't, I don't even remember what it was, but I probably cut it three times too short, and I had to start over again uh, at least three or four times. It was just, it was pathetic. And I started laughing. Once, once I messed it up the third time, I started laughing because I just shut everything down, went upstairs, and I dove back into it the following week. Sometimes you should, you should just not be in the shop. It happens all the time, to the best of us. What am I really proud of? The projects. Uh, two most, the two that come to mind the most are the desk that I built for my wife. Uh, solid cherry with ebony inlays and then the front hall bench that I'm currently working on. 